Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Russian and Clank number two, going commando. This time we're going to the deep, 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 the deep space disposal, hubris, something. I forgot the I forgot the last part. I did so well. Thugs for less. Pay for six hits and the seventh is free. You want us to what? Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. That'd be uh, an unethical conflict of interest. What kind of scum do you think we are? Say, that is a lot of bolts. <clears throat> well, uh, since you put it that way, I suppose we could uh, undo our previous obligation. Excellent, sir. Thank you for choosing Thugs for Less. <clears throat> Attention all thugs for less personnel. We now have a new employer. Whoa, a new employer? Wow, I wonder who that could be. Hey, it's the Hugris Cloud. Alright, input the password now. Check. Here goes. Um, you better check that code. I am sure it was correct. The defenses are attacking us. We've got to hold them off until Fizzwidget gets here. Disable disposal facilities defenses. Your password didn't work, and now the disposal facilities defenses are attacking you. Destroy them before they can destroy you. Now, ooh, the, the little thing about this one is, is that um, you, you can destroy them, but they kind of come back like almost immediately. So what what I like to do is I like to put them at, at the blue at the blue. Because once they're at the blue, then they will be easy to take care of. Because once they're at the blue, that means they're like almost dead. And when they're almost dead, well, you, you can easily dispose of them like a, one in a row for the um, for the, the defense, the repair drones get to them. Okay, okay, here we go. That is. Should be that's one. All right. Now that's two. Now that's fuck. That's not three. Okay, that's three. And now that's four. And that's five. And please, really fast before. Yes. Okay. There we go. Come in, gentlemen. Can you hear me? Sir, you gave us an erroneous password. Implausible. Unless, uh, is this Tuesday or Wednesday? Anyway, sorry to have missed our meeting, but I was called away to film a commercial for our weapons facilitory. But, but, sir, what about the commercial? I was great! Here, watch this! Megacorp keeps you warm, keeps you healthy, and now keeps you safe. Hello, I'm Abercrombie Fizzwidget, and I'd like to welcome you to the new Megacorp Weapons Facility. We offer guided tours to show you how our weapons are made. Our highly trained experts spend their day creating the latest in heavy-duty weaponry to protect you and your whole family. So stop by today and bring the kids. Our tours are both informative and fun. And who knows? You just might learn something. That was one handsome fellow, eh, boys? <laughs> Fizzwidget out. Sir, wait! Mr. Fizzwidget, come in! Perhaps we can still find him at the weapons facility. Wow, that, that went really well, didn't it? Anyway, now that we've done that, there's uh, take out the saboteurs. Saboteurs have attacked the disposal facility and they're throwing power generators. All right, well, you know, we just gotta we just gotta kill twenty of these ships. They're not that they're not that difficult. And this this place is actually the place where we will be grinding raritanium eventually once we have enough raritanium. And that's that might take a little while because I I I kind of forgot. How to get a certain uh, how to get a certain magnet boots? Because we we don't have magnet boots yet. At least I don't think we do. I'm fairly certain we don't. And if we do, well then uh, fuck me fuck me Sally and call me sideways. And that's the that's the wrong iteration of that sentence. Good job me. Wow. Oh Jesus. Uh, you can die 
if you just uh, run into the fucking generators, or you know, if, you, if you're like me and you're just you just suck, then then that's also very plausible uh, to happen. Anyway, it's not that difficult. There's one ship, it's tw twelve left. It's it's really just a race against the clock, which I, I guess it could be a little bit of a, a little bit of a hassle. Hey, look at that, we did it. Anyway, today's probably going to be a, a very mission-oriented, oriented, oriented uh, level video, because well, you know, after this we're going to Joba, which is the Megacorp Games planet, which has both hover bike races and a uh, good old. It, has, it also has a good old. Um, fuck, what do you call it? An arena. But hey. You know, the, the, the thing is, once we're done with that arena, I believe that's also the last time we ever have an arena or mission, or mission-like things again. Except for one more space mission, I believe. Uh, where are these ships? There's one of them. I don't know where it exactly is, but... Yeah, like I said, it, it's not too difficult, you, you'll... Because it's, it's also just like the more you shoot... Like the, the less are left, and the less will be able to shoot down generators, so it's... You know, it's probably a good idea if I uh, followed up on my own advice, which is don't ram into the fucking... into the middle of the stage. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there are two. Two at the same time. Wow. And they both also go, go away at the same time. And this should be it. Yep, there we go. Alright. Great work. Destroy the Berserk Repair Drones. The virus has infected the Repair Drones and they've become Berserk. Yeah, okay, so th this is the mission, actually, that uh, that has that, that you will come back to once you uh, have the, the nuclear thing. The, the nuclear weapon. Because I believe all of these enemies drop Raritanium. So I, I think that, I think I'm also just gonna, like... Yeah, this, yeah they, they have a really high drop rate of Raritanium, I think. I'm just gonna sort of grind raritanium from these things, I think, between episodes in, so that I can so that I can get enough raritanium to uh, to buy the nuclear weapon thing, and then after that I, I can get enough raritanium to buy all the other upgrades, which would be great, because then I can just do that skill point in right at the beginning of the next episode, or at least close to the beginning of the next episode, because at the beginning of the next episode I will be getting said nuclear weapon. I like how, how how I can talk about a fucking nuclear weapon and it's just the, it's just the, the most basic of things. It's just like, yeah, okay, yeah, nuclear weapon, sure, why not? You know? This is like uh, the most normal thing in the world, isn't it? It isn't? Oh, I thought it was. Apparently it is the most normal thing in the world though for me to almost nearly die. But hey, that makes sense, because I, I kind of I kind of suck at these space missions. It's not that I suck, it's just that the, I, the, I, I'm not great at using the aiming of this, of this ship. Look, I say that, I seem to be doing fairly well now. So, hey, maybe I'm talking out of my ass. Or hey, maybe that's what my entire commentary consists of, me talking out of my ass. Who knows? I, well, I believe. Because I, I'm the one, I'm the one in control of my brain. Technically, I am a brain, so I am a skeleton. I, I am inside a skeleton. You know, they, they always say like, a, how can you be scared of skeletons when there's a skeleton inside you? Or what? You know, what if you are inside the skeleton? Because we are the brain. Have thought about that, boys, boys and girls? No. Well, now you might have thought about it. Or, you know, maybe you just think I'm just uh, rambling on again, and I'm just being a general fucking idiot, which, which, besides the point, I am already a pretty big idiot, so, hey, does it really matter? No, it doesn't. Now that we're done with that talk, we got 35 Veritanium, and I believe you only have one more thing, which is a base, so, hey, I mean, you, we, we all know how this goes. We can get a, pl a, pl a Platinum Bolt from this, we, there's no skill points on this, on this planet, by the way, it's just... One gold bolt, and that's by and that's by flying through all these rings. So I, I'm kind of surprised that I am able to fly through these rings so well. While I had quite a lot of trouble with it while playing on my own, 
through the throughout the game like completely 100% for the first time. And and that's why that's when I wasn't talking. Well, maybe I was talking like angrily to myself, like, oh, what the fuck? How can you fuck that up, Mark? But I don't know. Maybe I was. Maybe I wasn't. Who knows? All all I know is that I fuck up a lot. And that that one kind of required my almost full attention. I I might fall a bit quiet on these because they can get quite annoying to fly through because eventually they get really fucking fast and I, th I believe a major point where I always fuck up is coming up right here or maybe we're yep yep that's where I always fuck up I always fuck up there well that, that means I'll have to do the race all over again not that it really matters because I mean the race isn't that long which is probably gonna take like one more try and then that's it because hey guess what this is where the end There we go. Alright. You may choose a new challenge. Well, we won't. Because uh, I'm done. But I, I will try it again. So, I'll be right back. See, it only took me one more try. Isn't that just amazing? Look at that. I am the best Ratchet and Clank player on the entire planet, boys. No, I'm not, though. I'm, I'm not really at all. Anyway, let's go to uh, Planet Joba. No, I don't want to look at the fucking video again. We already looked at that. And you can see that we're done with this planet. So, hey. Let's go over to Planet Joba. There's uh, quite a couple of things that we are not going to do this episode. Because I am a rebel and I don't want to do the normal planet yet. I want to do the extra shit on the planet first. So anyways, speaking of extra shit on the planet. I believe that uh, one, of the, one of the skill points on this planet deals with these birds. Now, what, what do we have to do with said birds, you may ask? Kill them. We have to murder. Murder the birds. All of them. All of them. Well, no, not really all of them, but you, you get what I mean. Some more birds dead. I, I kind of forgot how many birds exactly I have to kill. I might look that up. I, I'll, be, I'll be back anyway once I shoot up enough birds well it seems that we have to kill 12 birds in one life and there simply are not <laughs> there simply are not enough birds at the start of uh, at the start of this planet for me to do that so I'll be I'll have to do that skill point uh, in the next episode that means so hey I can't ha can't have them all boys we can't have them all what we can have though is we can go a little bit into the uh, into the actual planet First, we're gonna want to buy some some of those some of those good old things. Uh, you know what? One kill of this gun is probably gonna level it up. The two. Yep, there we go. Ooh! Now we get the HK22 gun. It shoots three at the same time. Isn't that fucking amazing? I I yes, it is. In my opinion, in my opinion, it's fucking insane. Because holy shit, that does a lot of damage. Speaking of, I'm gonna use the lava gun now because okay, I need to. I need to upgrade that. So there's uh, four skill points on this planet, one of which has to deal with um, us being able to beat. Um, the Wait, I can't go back. What do you mean I can't go back? What the fuck was that? Oh, I'm gonna die now. Or not? Um, so yeah, one of the skill points has to deal with us getting uh, a race done in under 2 minutes and 20 seconds, which is going to be easy. Then there's a skill point that has us killing 12 birds. Then there's a skill point that has us uh, beating the That's Impossible challenge in the arena, which is a 60 round arena fight that I am completely going to, going to skip through. Because that is nothing new, it's just 60 rounds of fucking nothingness. And then there's one more skill point, which is kill every single enemy on the planet with only the wrench. That one is the worst skill point in the entire game. And I am not looking forward to that, and that is why I'll be doing that one later on in the Let's Play, once we have more health, and once we finish the planet, because once you finish the off the planet, there's actually going to be less enemies in the planet. So, hey. There we go. Not gonna do it for a while. That's all you need to know. 
So basically, I'm only doing three of the four skill points on this planet right now. I also realized that I missed one skill point on planet Dabo. That I'll be going back to once I finish this hoverboard stuff. Nice finish on that chrome. Uh, you buffed this out yourself? I handle my own buffing, sir. Oh, sorry, little man. I thought you was a crankshaft. <laughs> Can't see my own hand in front of my face without these. <laughs> no problem. So, how do I enter the big race? Well, you got the helmet, you're in. Easy peasy. The prize this time is some kind of special boots. I could use those myself. They go real nice with my leather chaps. Well, hey, speaking of boots, he talked about boots. So we're probably gonna get the Magna Boots. Anyway, I'm gonna show off this race. Once again, I'm gonna do it the same way as I did the other race, which is basically just skip through all of the races, because right now, actually, I'm gonna skip through even more races, because you already know the whole deal about enemies being able to attack you. So I won't even have to, I won't even have to, like, tell you guys about that anymore. The only thing I, the only thing I have to worry about showing you guys is the, uh, the, the secret routes in this stage, which will open up eventually, so... Oh, also, look out for those fucking, those bombs, because they're, they're assholes, and they, they are not fun to deal with at all. So, hey, welcome back to racing. I, uh, I, I still, I still quite like this. I like this a lot more than the racing in the, uh, first Ratchet and Clank game. Because, I don't know, it, it, it's just more fun. It's, it's less oriented around, like, doing some weird sick math skills tricks. This one is just centered around speed. We all know, we all know how much I fucking love speed. Dude, I, seriously, I, I am, I, I can get very fucking impatient with, like, with some games, especially, like, racing games, where I can get the feeling that I'm supposed to be going fast, and then I'm not, I don't go fast at all, aka hoverboard racing in Resident Evil 1. Ooh, that almost hit me. Uh, what, what's also indicative of that is the, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog series. Now, I know, I know... Said by a lot of people, it's like, oh, this fuck you, Sonic the Hedgehog is a shit game because because it's advertised as a speed game, but you can't even go fast because you keep getting hit by boulders and enemies all the time. I, it, I, while I do agree with that, I can also see that that's kind of a little bit of a eh argument because it's like, it, yeah, it's it's like you can't have a game, a platform game. Purely with just running around and no enemies, because if there were no enemies, it wouldn't be a fucking platform game, it would be a racing game. It would be a platform racing game. And who would like that? Who would like a platform ra- Actually, I would like a platform racing game. And actually, a lot of people like platform racing games. There's an entire fucking game built around it called Speedrunners. So never mind, you know, I'm gonna eat my shoe. I don't- and I'm, I'm not wearing shoes though, it's a thing. So I can't really eat my shoes. You know, but whatever doesn't matter. We finished the race. Two minutes and thirty seconds. See, that's already ten seconds close to the skill point. Ain't that amazing? Dang, I wanted these boots myself, but they'll look real nice with your outfit. You can race again, you know. Now the prize is a bunch of bolts. All right. Well, charger. you know the deal. You know the drill. I'm gonna do all the other, uh, all the four other races. All turrets are active now. I don't know what that means. Oh, that just means more bombs at the turret section that drops bombs. It's not really that special. It's just two. It's just two turrets now. I think that drop bombs. That's a good one. Though. Hey, I did worse that time because I crashed like four times. Anyway, I believe uh, once you get into race three, yep, the secret pathway over here is gonna be opened up for you. Now, why this one is actually more special than the last one is because there's a fucking nano boost over there, which uh, b blocks your entire fucking view. But hey, whatever, it's it's fun. Is it though? I, I don't know. It's fun. And also, this over here is also opened up now. Now we can skip the whole entire bomb stuff, which is fucking great, and I love that because I, I I really hate dealing with that bomb shit. It's it's so annoying. It's really not fun. I kinda didn't take the checkpoint. Oh, doesn't matter. Fucking 12 seconds under the skill point fucking requirement. Whatever, hey, there we go. Now we have, uh, now we have this one. So, hey, I'm just gonna finish up the last two challenges and that's that. 
That was literally the only time that I got marked by a fucking... Like, the, by, by, the, by an enemy, like, right at the fucking end. Wow. And there we go, that's every single race done, and I actually got even got an even faster time, Jesus Christ. Well hey, now we've done all that, and now we have nearly a hundred thousand bolts again, Jesus Christ, man. You get bolts so easily in this game, because it's just purely because of all those challenges and stuff. And it, The challenges are fun, I, I will say, they are really fun to do. Um, like I said, we won't be continuing the planet on in this episode. Uh, instead, I'm gonna show off two more things. One thing is a uh, skill point that I missed. So, for that... Oh, actually, yeah, I did miss one MO. Uh, for that, we're gonna go back to Planet Dabo, which is uh, where we started the episode, ironically enough. So, basically, what this skill point is, is um, we have to kill every single enemy. I'm just gonna do this. Okay, we have to kill every single enemy with... Only weapons from Ratchet and Clank One or the Wrench. So hey, that's uh, that's pretty interesting. So uh, I'm just gonna speed up through this, and I'll be right back. I think I th I'm fairly certain that the game glitched. Ain't that ain't that great? So yeah, this is one of those infamous skill points that um, sometimes it just doesn't work. Sometimes it just doesn't work. So hey. I'll be back once it does actually fucking work. Although actually, uh, I did buy the spider bot glove, which we need to go down over here. And, oh, 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 that's a pretty one. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a real good one. Um, wow, I, ooh, I, I don't even remember what the fuck I was gonna say anymore now at this point. Uh, I was, I was gonna say something about how to open up this door over here, but now I, now I've just kind of fucking completely forgotten. Uh, oh right, we, we can go over here, and inside here, there's a button. Oh, a pretty little button. And what can we do with that button? Well, if we go over here, and we go back, oh, and we go back over down here, the door has been opened, so now we can get this platinum bolt. Ain't that just a doozy? Anyway, uh, yeah, it's, it's a skill point. It's a skill point that seems to have a lot of trouble and problems with a lot of people. Uh, what a lot of people seem to do to fix this problem is um, they save the game on this planet and then they restart the entire console. So, and I, I don't think I can restart the console, but I am going to go ahead and save. Alright, well, uh, unless it glitches again, these two enemies should be the final enemies that I kill. And then I should be i should be getting the skill point. Please. Oh, yes, I can't, fuck yes. Uh, for a second there, I thought that I had failed again. But nope, I actually got the skill point. Now, just to make sure, I want to check if I have 16 skill points. Okay, I have 16 skill points. That's good, because that's the amount of skill points that I wanted. Actors have oversized craniums. Yeah, I don't want to... No. I, I, I'm i done with the oversized shit. It's not even funny. I, it really isn't. So anyways, now that we have the... Uh, the that, that, that skill point. Um, don't, don't ask why I'm here. I thought, that I, I thought that we got the magnet boots. I was completely wrong. We got the charge boots. Which I'll show off what the fuck they do in the next episode. But, um... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grind uh, some good old uh, rare titanium now, and uh, I'll meet you guys in the next episode. We'll all have um, enough rare titanium. Well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna meet you in a couple when I have enough rare titanium to buy that uh, nuclear weapon. All right, I got 61 rare titanium, which means that I have enough rare titanium now to um, to buy the ultimate. Ship upgrade, which it, it's 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 fucking it's fucking it's fucking amazing. It it really is. It really is just amazing. And I will show you why it is so amazing right after I buy it. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy this shit right now. Uh, where where is it? Ah, uh, there it is. The nuclear detonation device. Yeah, but give me that nuke. All right. What do, what do I need now? I need like what like two two hundred veritanium, something like that, to get the rest of the stuff. 
Yeah, that, hey, you know what? I think I think I think we can we can grind that in a in a reasonable amount of time. You know what? Let's let's see how long it could possibly take for us to get to 200 rare to 200 rare titanium. I wonder. I wonder. I really do. Let's uh let's go check it out on the Hrugus Cloud, which is also where we started the episode, I think. Yeah, I'm fairly sure it is. Hey. So um yeah, we we got this now. And now that we now that we have that, hey, let's let's try this nuke. Oh, well, well that didn't go as planned. Usually it's supposed to go a little bit faster than that, but uh, yeah, as you can see, we we can get a shit ton of raritanium this way in a really fast manner. Oh hey, there explosions. Oh hey, there raritanium. And now I'm gonna repeat that until I have like 200. Oh, would you look at that? I have 200 raritanium. Ah, how long did that take? Oh, less than 10 minutes. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's fucking insane how fast you can get Raritanium if you just get the nuke first. By, like, repeating that mission a couple of times. And then just going back into it and just shooting it. Getting the Raritanium. Restart challenge. Shooting it. Getting the Raritanium. Restart challenge. Because you, you don't have to actually, like, finish the mission to be able to, to, to like, get everything. So anyways, hey, let's, uh... I believe you can buy everything. Maybe not. No, we can't. Wow. Wow. We, we have to actually go back in. Well, I'll be right back then. No, I have enough. No, I, I have more than enough. Alright, let's uh, buy the hyperspace warp drive. And there we go, we got the scale point for getting all the fucking ship upgrades. Isn't that wonderful? Well, Mark from the future, hope you had fun, because I think you got a lot of fucking shit to add into this episode, so hey. Next time, we'll actually fucking continue the uh, the whole uh, the whole adventure, and go on into Joba to do some more shit. And, you know, get get get, get the stuff there. You know, get get all the, uh, yeah, get, get all the extras there. Well, except for one skill point that I'm waiting on until we get more health. So, hey, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.